State Sheriff's Association bringing a new focus to the mental health of first responders with the rollout of a new program. News 10 ABC's Connell Smith brings us more from a program that's sending the message that it's okay not to be okay. First responders are trained to help people on their worst days, but what about helping themselves when it's their mental health on the line? According to the Substance Abuse and Mental Health Services Administration, one in three first responders experience post-traumatic stress, but not all seek help. It's a culture of, I go to work, I put my boots on, I put my belt on, I put my vest on, and I go out and I help people, and then I take it off and I don't talk about it. And that's traditionally how most cops are. While also fighting crime, the New York State Sheriff's Association is stepping up its efforts to fight the stigma surrounding mental health. Over the next few weeks, all 58 sheriff's offices in the state will have access to a new mental health and wellness program through a partner at and and FirstNet. It will include crisis and trauma training, PTSD awareness, suicide prevention, and a peer-to-peer -peer hotline, which can be done internally within your own department or with another county. The program is also not just exclusive to those on patrol. Think about being on a 911 call on a fatal fire where the person's yelling and screaming for help, and ultimately that dispatcher is on with them for 15 minutes, and ultimately that person couldn't be rescued, and how that sits of being so helpless on the other line. Last year, 177 first responders committed suicide. Over half worked in law enforcement. Albany County Sheriff Craig Apple says first responder mental health needs to be addressed early and often before it begins to build up. When Apple first became sheriff in 2011, he says his department faced several suicides among its members. Police officers, correction officers, firefighters, we're not really good at expressing our feelings and we keep it all, you know, bunched up and sooner or later, you know, you come, it comes to a breaking point. In Albany County, Connell Smith, News 10, ABC.